Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is Tech Flow. This is a Linus Tech Tips style video. We're going to be doing a home network tour. So many have requested it. Let's do this. So I've had a few questions of people asking me, Alex, how are you getting these sorts of speeds at home, least line speeds, at home, not even in a business environment? And I'm going to walk you through everything to do with my home network, starting from how we actually get the internet to this house, which is a bit different from any other house. First, to show you that, we need to go outside. So we're outside. Now, how do I get the internet into my house? Unlike any other people here in the UK, our internet comes through either a phone line or nine times out of 10 Virgin Media's cable underneath the ground, we also have a thing called BT Infinity here. It's not fiber to this house. We don't have a phone line into this house. We don't have fiber into this house. How are we gonna do it? I thought to myself, wireless broadband. Up on the roof, I've actually got a big dish, a big dish from a company called Ubiquity. Now that dish looks over about two miles away over in the distance to another big dish. They point to each other, talk to each other and pass information across at about 90 megabits a second. That is from and against, to and from. So send and receive, upload and download. I can upload up to 90 megabits and download up to 90 megabits. That is my internet speed here, megabits a second. So from the dish up on the roof, we are now in my loft. An ethernet cable comes from the dish up in the roof and connects to this little thing here, this little box, which is called a PoE adapter, power over ethernet. This ethernet cable goes up to the dish and it carries the data and the power to the dish. And then this ethernet cable travels all the way down there to the other end of the house where my route is. Right, so let's talk about the actual network itself. We've talked about how we get the internet to the house. We now have an ethernet cable which needs to plug into a router. Now our router is up here. It's called the Nighthawk X6. And it's a very powerful, very up-to-date router. It has awesome features like QoS installed, which can prioritize gaming and movie streaming and Spotify and different things like that, all different types of online services to make sure the people that are gaming get the best response times. And I also have a NAS, a network attached storage, a one terabyte Seagate hard drive plugged into the USB 3 port on it. And it's got about 500 gigs worth of films on it, which I can share with all the DVLA etherneted TVs around the house. Now the router with its six antennas can also offer 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bandwidth simultaneously and the 5 gigahertz bandwidth is actually two of them two 5 gigahertz bands and that is because it can load balance between the two if you've got numerous devices connected to the 5 gigahertz band uh, so if you've got four devices it will put two of your devices on each of the bands to share out the load balancing fairly intelligent. So this here is my 16 port gigabit switch, pretty much the heart other than the router of the network. Let's talk about this first. So around my house we have three wireless access points, 2.4 gigahertz access points from Ubiquity, the same maker as the dish that gives us the internet on the roof. Now these are the PoE adapters, again powering uh, these ethernet cables which come along with the data for the access points. There's three of them around the house. They're cool, full Wi-Fi coverage, brilliant Wi-Fi devices. If you're looking for Wi-Fi access points, I 100% recommend Ubiquity. Now this is the network switch. We've got numerous ethernet cables coming out of here. These all go to the devices down there, like my amplifier, Xboxes, SkyQ boxes, everything. And then these three cables here actually go off to downstairs in the lounge and the office computer into the main office into the uh, main office computer and the other one goes off to a smart connected TV, Samsung TV in the master bedroom of the house. So this is the first of the three Ubiquity access points and this is in my bedroom so it's radiating me at night. Wireless N, 2.4 gigahertz, great, great coverage. That's the first one. The second one is just here. And the third one, just up here. Now these access points are really intelligent. They work together, they talk to each other, and as you roam around the house with your mobile device, it will actually hand you off to the next access point to give you seamless 
coverage, like it's one big Wi-Fi network around the house, but it's coming from three access points. For example, if you're on a FaceTime call on an iPhone, you'd be able to walk around the house and still have that FaceTime HD call, no problem. One of my main goals when I moved into this house was to make sure that I had like a stable network, Cat6 cable in pretty much all of the rooms, down to all the TVs and the main office, uh, and of course my PC, and have all the devices hardwired, because as we know, wireless just sucks. Hardwired is the way to go, so I bought 500 meters of Cat6 cable, and it took me a day or so, but I ran the cable up into the loft, outside the house, down the side of the house, back into all the different rooms, uh, bought all the crimping tools, crimped the ends of them with a special device, and that was it. It's really not hard to like crimp and make Ethernet cable. It's really simple. So many tutorials out there uh, on online on how to do that. It's really simple and quite fun. I find it quite fun doing all this networking stuff and getting cable to the side of the house and making sure the Wi-Fi coverage is 100% perfect in every room. And this is how I've done it. All the products in, that I've used for my home network will be down in the description. I've played with a load of them and this is the perfect setup that I've come with so far. It has 5G from the main router, 2.4G access points, Cat6 cable, and it just works, and it never goes down, and I'm happy with it. So guys, if you like this little different video, make sure you drop it a like rating, we'd really appreciate that here at TechFlow. But for now, my name's been Alex, you guys have been awesome. Stay awesome, keep smiling, and we'll catch you in the next one. Adios. Uh, crimp the end of cables. I know Jed's laughing because that's one of our inside jokes. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, we don't have time. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that is the home network. All the cables were put in by myself when we first moved into this house. <laughs>